why, I pray you? Who might be your mother that you insult, exult, and all at once over the wretched? What? Though you have no beauty. As by my faith I see no more in you than without candle may go dark to bed, must you be therefore proud and pitiless? Why, what means this? Why do you look on me? I see no more in you than in the ordinary of nature's cell work. What's my little life? I think she means to tangle my eyes too. No, faith, <laughs> proud mistress, hope not after it. Tis not your inky brows, your black silk hair, your blue eagle eyeballs, nor your cheek of cream that can entain my spirits to your worship, you foolish shepherd. Wherefore do you follow her like foggy sow, puffing with wind and rain? You are a thousand times a properer man than she a woman. To such fools as you that makes the world full of ill-favoured children. Tis not her glass, but you that flatters her, and out of you she sees herself more proper than any of her liniments can show her. But, mistress, <laughs> know yourself. Down on your knees, and thank heaven fasting for a good man's love. For, I, I must tell you, friendly, in your ear, Sell when you can, you are not for all markets. Cry the man mercy, love him, take his offer. Foul is most foul, being foul to be a scoffer. So, take it to thee, shepherd. Fare you well.